What is up, beautiful people? It's your boy, Ray, and welcome to another fantastic episode of The Nashville Flippers. And we're here today, not at a Goodwill, not at a Salvation Army, but a Good Samaritan thrift store. So we're gonna go in there, we're gonna try to find anything to flip online. So let's go. This might be a common thing on Thursdays. Let me call it Thrifty Thursday, or I don't know, trip to the thrift Thursday. Let me know what kind of name we should give this but hopefully we can go in there and find some good stuff so let's go baby all right there it is henry seville samaritan center let's see what we got Ooh, right off the bat uh, let's see what else there oh wrestlemania hoodie 29 bucks we got here uncle what is this uncle chris bros Ooh, that's a Letterman, Letterman jacket, honors choir, and speech. Why do they start getting letters for that? We got right here. Oh, that's nice. What is that? 30 bucks. Titans. John Curse, the freak. Is that a Shaquille O'Neal? No, minor. Okay. D Wade, no, LeBron James. 40 bucks. All right, let's keep looking. Winter coats. Whoa. So as you saw, they had a ton of these coats. The name brand I did not recognize, so I, I knew they didn't sell too well. But check out this case. It was a weird Richard Petty cd rom a nice little nascar pin and these um dell earnhardt senior ornaments they look pretty cool on the other side of the case we got some sunglasses this weird presidential bell i don't know what it does when you ring it hopefully we get some lower interest rates i got this case a lot of dream team nba trading cards pretty cheap four dollars three dollars i'm sure they mass produced these so there's not a lot of money in those but on the next shelf, they had PSA graded baseball cards, which really piqued my interest. This one was $280. This one was another $300 as Mark McGuire. But this Jose Ubre really piqued my interest because when I checked the comps, the comps were all over the place. So I'm pretty sure this is maybe a uh, money laundering situation. So I definitely have to do more research on that baseball card. And we have here a nice little vhs tapes of michael jackson's best music videos let's go some battlestar galactica toys and this uh set of books but i was still interested in that card so i asked the lady behind the counter if i could take a look at it and it was like something was i think that's the one that was off center or something that made it valuable oh yeah okay can i look at them let me see here yeah you just can't take them out of the case out of this case yeah yeah, well, can been... you flip them over? Yeah. I just want to look at the back. I'm trying. I'm just trying to see, determine what the error is on that one. Uh, it's his uh, stats. I think his name and uh, there was one. In the year thing. he was born. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Date of birth and middle name. Interesting. Okay. And what is that? How much? Two seventy eight. Two seventy nine. <laughs> No, no, is that yeah. the bottom dollar on that one? Yeah, I'm okay. Sure. Yeah, okay. And then this one. I'm more interested in this one. Okay. Yeah, this one I yeah. think was a rookie card, but I think it was off center or something. I okay. can't remember what was wrong with that one. Gotcha. All right. I'll keep looking around. I'll be thinking about it. Moving on, uh, here they have some sort of craft section, a ton of these lanyards. Don't know where they came from, and no one's ever going to buy them. So you can see tons tons of craft stuff. No one's going to buy that. But uh, here they have some stuff behind the case. Some women's jewelry that I know completely nothing about. And some creepy dolls right in time for Halloween. And some uh, cutting utensils, some knives, 
some forks, some pitchforks, and what have you. Let me know if I missed something in this uh, case. Maybe some cut codes. I didn't see any cut codes, but maybe something else. And here we have the plush. I, dig I dug through it, didn't really find anything that's worth any kind of money. So we moved on to the other side here, which is the puzzles. Don't know a lot about puzzles. I know there's some that are worth a ton of money, but nothing here is worth any kind of money. But I did find this little bop it thing. I don't think this is the one that was worth money. But check out this book, the little twang, country twang, with, uh, I can't remember, Garth Brooks and Reba McIntyre. Here we have their little media section. Uh, not a whole lot. A lot of VHS tapes, hardly any video games. But they did have this uh, NBA Ballers game. Man, I spent a lot of time playing this game back in the day on the PlayStation 2. And here we have some cassette tapes. Cassette tapes are hot right now. Just got to find the right one. You know, classic rock. Hip-hop cassette tapes are actually worth really good money. So if you find some hip-hop cassette tapes, make sure you pick those up at the yard sale, garage sale, thrift store, or what have you. But their shoe section, straight from your grandma's closet from 1974, it's a fake red Crocs. And I couldn't find anything that's worth any kind of value. It looks like just shoes that uh, people donated back in the 80s. The small sportswear cleats section, nothing too crazy. And talk about mug life, the mugs that you never want to drink out of and the glasses that you never want to sip out of. Nothing that's worth any kind of money. But I did see this jar. I thought it was Ray Dunn. It looks fake. It looks like it just, I don't know, some weird little plastic thing. But definitely not Ray Dunn. But man, that would have been nice if they were Ray Dunn. And we have here some golf clubs. Wooden driver. You know, that's been there for a while. Nothing worth too much money. So moving on to their miscellaneous section. Just a bunch of junk that people have in their garage that you know got donated here i wonder if this thrift, thrift store actually has anything good and uh just walking through the clothing section not a lot of swaggy clothes here except for this purple shirt something that sunny las vegas would wear sunny i want to see you in the shirt buddy let's move on to the front of the store you know you're in nashville when you see a horse saddle in a thrift store but they wanted 160 something dollars for it which is I don't know too much about horse saddles, but that actually sounds like a pretty good deal. And I did find this dino mask. I've sold a bunch of these before in the past, so you know I had to pick it up. All right, gang, so we're here, we're at home, and the only thing that I picked up at that thrift store was the T-Rex dinosaur mask. Again, only $1.99. I know I can get $20 plus shipping on this all day long because if you don't know, people like to buy these masks, decorate them, make furry costumes out of them. I know, it's strange. Here's a picture. But um, that baseball card, I don't know. I know that I saw a sold comp of $1,000 for just a raw baseball card. And the raw baseball card means it was not graded. This one, they said they sent off to get graded. So they must have gotten it in a donation, sent it off to get graded. And then it came back in eight, PSA eight. And then they said that there was an error card and there is some sold comps. There's some best offers on there. And I don't know much about it. I did film a TikTok video. So hopefully that's gonna give me some feedback. But guys, if you know anything about that baseball card, please let me know. Uh, even even when I was shopping, the lady came back to me and asked me, well, how much would you offer for the baseball card? And I, I was thinking, because they wanted 275, and I thought, well, 200 would probably be my, my highest, but I didn't say anything because I wanted to do a little more research. So if the research comes back to where the card is worth around $1,000, if not more, especially since this one is graded, I'm gonna probably go back and purchase this. I'm gonna offer at least $200 for this baseball card. And again, I, I don't know much about baseball cards. I know about Pokemon cards, but not baseball cards. So if you know anything about this particular baseball card, please put it down in the comments. Let me know, send it to your friends, send it to your family, send it to uh, Uncle Bob down the street, send it to Billy that works at the Cornerstone that might know about baseball cards. But uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching this 
thrifty thursday video i think i'm gonna go with that let me know if you like it and like always my name is ray and this is the t-rex head and we will catch you guys on the flip side baby see y'all god bless peace